Hello everyone, welcome to the Tenor Investor channel. In stock markets, the most important thing is exits. So at least in the last 10 years, out of which the first seven years I wasn't really profitable, the only thing that I learned is exits is the most important thing. Entering a stock is the most easiest thing to do in markets. You can literally buy a stock at any point in time, but the moment you're in losses or in profits is when your mind you know, plays its own game and then you're really struggling to identify exits. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are my strategies or what are the strategies that I think uh, are probably good ideas to identify when to exit a stock. Now remember, my strategy is to trend follow. So I probably try to trend as much as possible, but I do have, you know, uh, points where I'd like to exit partially or probably book profits when I see certain signals. So in this video, we're going to look at five strategies, five exit strategies for you and how you can use them to exit markets, uh, exit stocks that you're holding. Okay, so that, let's take a look into this video. Before that, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. Also this week, I posted another video about um, Thermax and also a stock uh, about uh, Astro Microwave products. So do take a look at that video as well. So the five strategies, exit strategies we're going to look at today is um, here. So the first strategy is going to be primary trend line breakdown, right? So whenever you're doing trend following in a stock, you're buying probably a stock somewhere there and you want to ride the trend as much as possible, right? Now this here, in this example, I'm taking Reliance Industries, you know, somewhere in 2006 uh, to 2008, right? So you bought, let's say, Reliance at this point because you're a breakout trader, you want to trend follow and you bought the stock somewhere in 230 levels. Now you would not exit the stock until and unless this trend is on, right? So in this case, uh, the trend is on, it's beautiful long-term of trend. And then we see the price reversed multiple times here. So we then draw a trend line. A primary trend line is nothing but a, a price price points from where the stock reversed at least you know uh, more than two to three times, right? So that's the primary trend line. And when the primary trend line breaks down, right? So you see for first breakdown here, and then finally we are weekly closing here. Now that's the first point where you want to really at least book partial profits because you you entered somewhere on 200 levels, you entered exited 530, which is a decent uh, you know. Two and a half, two times, two and a half times your uh, your profit you have, you have booked, and then uh, you book first fifty percent there, and then when you see a swing low breakdown, right? So that's a swing low there, and then you see again a breakdown there, and that's when you exit the remaining fifty percent of positions. You completely exit your position. Now swing low is is also one of the most important strategies that I follow. But when you club it with primary trend line uh, breakdowns, then you really can lock in some of the profits profits that you have. So exit fifty percent when trend line uh, with three or more touch points breakdown. And exit remaining when you know swing low trade breaks, uh, swing low breaks. Now also I have this uh, blog where I've written this in detail, so do check that blog out as well. The link would be in the description. So that's the first strategy. The second strategy uh, that I want to talk about today is when a stock rallies a lot. Right now here I'm looking at RT drugs, which happened to rally a lot back in 2020, 2021 during the bull market that we had. And a lot of people have wondering when to exit stock. Some people you know, ex exit the stock very prematurely. Some people are holding on to losses after entering at high points. So in this case, I'm going to talk you talk, take you through how to use the 200 moving average and how to see how far is the stock extended. Now, in this case, at this point, when we went up, the stock was almost up 76%, right? So the rule here is when a stock is up 70% from the 200 moving average, right? So in this case, 200 day moving average is here and the stock is up almost 70% from here. At this point, probably you want to book, you know, 70, 50% of your portfolio uh, positions or it's time to trail your stop loss very aggressively, right? So that's the first point. And then you see uh, the stock also is up to 90% here. At this point, the stock is really, really overextended. And then when you see uh, the stock coming down, you know, probably you want to book, uh, when you see candles like this, you want to book some of your positions here as well. But remember when a stock is rallying really fast, you also don't want to book everything because you might miss on some really big gains. So it's always prudent to book half of your positions or 25% of your positions. And again, the stock here was up almost to 91%. And here also the stock was up 148%, right? So we know the stock is up 70% or more than 70% or more than 100%, you can define your own uh, ranges. Try to book at least half of positions and trail the remaining with a swing low, uh, you know, as a rule, um, so that you can make much of that profit that you have in the stock. So the third rule that we're going to take a look at is, uh, you know, something around the moving averages. But before that, I want you to also see this video that I did on how to do trend following because entry is also very important and entries with low risk is very important. So if you haven't watched this video, how to do trend following to ride massive gains, do check it out uh, and do let me know in the comments of what you think. When you club both the trend following and exit strategies, how do you feel? Are you really comfortable with a trading strategy? If not, these would definitely help you. Okay, so the third strategy is around the moving averages, as I said. 
So whenever you have a stock moving really fast or moving really up, stocks usually which are, which are in very strong uptrends really move fast and they do not break the 20 day moving average or 50 day moving average. But once they break the 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average, it's probably time to take some of your positions out and exit the stock and look to look, you know, move on to some other stocks here. Now in this case, when the stock kind of breaks the 20 moving 20 day moving average, you know, you can book probably half of positions and when it breaks the 50 day moving average, then you exit the entire position that you have. So here, if you see we had a first breakdown here, and that's the point where you want to exit all your positions uh, when the stock breaks the 50 day moving average, right? When it breaks the 20 day moving average, probably book half, but not exit completely. And when it breaks the 50 day moving average, exit it completely. Probably that's the beginning of a long term downtrend, right? In a stock. Now remember these are stocks, uh, these strategies that I'm discussing are especially would help if you are looking at trend following strategies and if you want to really ride long term trends, right? You can also apply this on weekly time frames, uh, but don't do it on monthly because monthly will be too slow and you might be giving back too much of profits. So that's the third strategy. The fourth strategy is also similar to this, but it's more trailing your stop loss to a five day low. Right. Again, all these strategies are when the stock is going up and up and up and you do not know when to exit. Right. So when you're writing trends, it's important to also look at, you know, you know, three or five days low. And then, for example, here in this case, the stock kind of had a breakdown uh, going below the five day low, but it then closed above. Right. It had an open uh, below, but it closed low. Right. But then we, when you have cases where the stock closes below the five day low, like here, that's when, you know, you want to really book profits, especially when the stock has moved really, very fast, 30 to 40 percent, 50 percent gains you're sitting on. Book half of the profits when it goes below five day low and then trail remaining to swing low. So that's the fourth strategy. The last strategy that I want to discuss today is a very important strategy, at least from, you know, a very, you know, you can apply this to any time frame, an hourly or even five minutes, because this strategy shows that there is very strong selling. You know, strategy tells you that when you have two consecutive red candles on any time frame, or be it on daily, weekly time frame, after a strong move, when you see multiple uh, red candles coming like that, and when you see strong uh, red candles, which are literally overlapping the previous candles, then you want to really exit your stock. Now, in this case, if you see we had a strong overlap and the stock almost closed below there, and the next day we had again a strong close below, right? These are the points where you want to really take out your profits, at least partially, and trail your remaining to the swing low. Okay, so these are the five strategies I want to discuss today. I hope you love this. Uh, and if you did love it, do subscribe to my channel. And if you have comments, do let me know on my Twitter. Uh, you can tag me on Twitter or tag me in the comments and I can respond to your queries. But remember, exits are the most important. So that's how you stay uh, safe in trading and you don't lose much of your money. Okay, so I'll leave you here. Take care, stay safe and trade safe. Until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.